Hey there, welcome back. I got another unboxing video for you today. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, I'm trying to remember the last one that I did. Oh, pff, it was the Mandal the Ambush on Mandalore. Sorry, it's not that long, but anyway. Um, yeah, this is a Disney set. This is the Peter Pan and Wendy's Flight Over London. Honestly, all the Disney 100 sets are pretty much bangers across the board. They're all great. Um, but out of all of them, this one... This one was the one that I wanted the most. And unfortunately, I think it's a Lego exclusive, like Lego store exclusive. Because I've not been able to find it. I mean, it came out in 2023 in September. And retailed for 60 bucks. I didn't pay that. It's actually a sale going on, which I was grateful for. It's more like 50 which is much better um, or in that range. And yeah, I went to the Lego store. I don't normally go to the lego store because mine is a little bit farther away it's like 35 minutes away and we took the long road to get to this uh this time and i was really looking forward to getting this um i wasn't necessarily going to the that mall to go to the lego store while well, i was obviously going to make a visit but i was actually going to look for music like cd albums i was looking for certain artists like lord uh, lizzie mcalpine a little maybe a little taylor swift calvin harris Maybe Justin Timberlake, just some artists that I'm interested in, um, in picking up their music. Um, they didn't really have any of those artists, so I was kind of disappointed in FYE selection. But I went down to the Lego store and I got, I found this set. I'm glad I did because this is the one like Disney set that I cared about buying. Mostly because I'm a big Peter Pan fan. I love the original Disney film. It's so amazing. It, it holds up incredibly well. I know some people don't like some of the stereotypes in there and whatever, but I just, as a kid, I loved it and I still love it. It's like top five Disney films for me, probably number five. But this is the scene where Peter Pan takes Wendy and, um, in this case, Tinkerbell, he takes um, the darling siblings up to Neverland. And it's like the first time that you see Peter Pan fly. And it's such an iconic scene, and I'm glad they made it into a set. It's a great looking set. Let's talk about it a little bit. I did do an analysis video on it. I believe it's like seven minutes long. It's a pretty decent video. And uh, yeah, this is on my list. I have like a short list of Lego sets I want, and I only have like maybe one or two, maybe three more, including the Millennium Falcon, which is probably going to get bought someday, but not, you know, this year. But anyway, yeah, I love this set. Sorry for the rambling. Um... Went all the way out there, and I picked it up. I'm glad it was there, because I was going to be, like, super disappointed if it wasn't there. Uh, I expected it to be there, because this is um kind of a harder set to find. I, I haven't been able to find it at, like, Kohl's or Walmart or, you know, um, Kmart or Target. It, it's hard to find this set for some reason, uh, even though it's a popular set. Uh, I do think 60 is a bit much. But we're going to move past that. Here's the box. It looks great. you got the silver Disney 100 kind of branding or the coloring. Looks pretty cool. I like the logo too. Um, 466 is the park count. And you get three minifigs with this. We get Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and Wendy. I'm actually most excited for Wendy, even though she's like the most basic figure. I just think she looks great. Um, here's the front of the box. Now, this is a, a display set, so there's no play features with this set, which is fine. I've gotten a few display sets recently, such as the ship in a bottle. But, yeah, I, I just think it's nice to have not a ton of play features crammed into it. There's the top. you got the clock tower. We'll talk about that in a minute. Got the back of the box. You know, it's honestly not like a hugely entertaining box art. It's just kind of there. I do like the silver chrome bricks on the bottom. That's kind of cool. You got the glow in the dark elements up here, and then you got the scene from the film, which is really cool. And you got the dimensions over here, Disney or Lego.com slash Disney. And then there's the other side of the set. Um, yeah, it's just like the scene where they're flying in London, and it's really cool. I do think the one weakness of this set, as great as it is, is for 60 bucks i would have liked to see john and michael as well you know wendy's brothers it would have been nice to get them because th they're also in the scene it's just a little bit odd that they were left out i feel like they i don't know they could have taken tinkerbell out but then it wouldn't be normally as iconic i don't know but it would have been nice to get john and michael i don't know it's, it's just a little nitpick but let's get this open we got the punch tabs i'll do it this time 
I don't really care about the box that much, to be honest with you. I don't really keep any of my boxes anymore because it, they take up so much space. It's not fun. So yeah, I'll do the classic dump here. And also there are no stickers with this set, which is a nice surprise. I like putting Lego stickers on, but there are some people who are like, ew, that was stink. I don't like doing that. It's fine. I like it. It's it's most of the time it's very fun to me. Um, so we got six bags with this. Let's take a look at the manual, which is very nice. Here it is, you can see. It's still using that garbage CG render computer thing on the front of the uh, instruction book. I'm getting used to it. It's not as terrible as it used to be, but it's not great. Why can't they just put the box art on the front of the book? It's, I don't get why they're moving away from that. It just doesn't make any sense, because, like, every time you get a set, you, the, uh, whatever, moving past it, here's the, uh, front of the book, you can see the QR code to scan it if you want to build it digitally, there's the new packaging, there's Builder, I'm pretty sure this used to be Lego Life, and they just, like, changed it, and no one cared, or no one noticed, um, here's bag one, we built the base, bag two, we build more with Wendy, Bag three, we get Peter Pan. Bag four, we get Tink. And then bag five and six, just finish it up. It's going to be a pretty nice build. I'm. This is going to be like a pleasant experience. I already know it. Um, I just think it's going to be great. Ooh, a teal brick separator. That's what I like to see. Uh, there's Peter Pan on the bottom. The Pargas bar. And how many steps do we got? Whoa. 127? That's kind of a lot. I'm guessing this is going to be like an hour and a half, maybe? Actually, maybe just an hour, I don't know. Um, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes? 40 minutes, probably. But there's the finished set, and it's a very nice display. I like the colors. The main thing that got me into the set was the coloring, because it's like all light blue, dark blue, and it's just very pleasant. I don't know, it stands out. Um, there's the parts that you get. And there's the wind guy. So yeah, that is the manual. Uh, very nice. Got bag two, four, and where's bag one? Imagine it's not in here. How crazy would that be? Okay, here's one. So, you know, it seems like they're spreading these about around. Like, there's like a little bit of parts in each bag. I feel like they could have just done four bags. Um, but yeah. Not the biggest set I've ever done, but not the smallest. Um, it's like in the middle. It's a nice middle ground. Um, and here's a couple of pieces that are left out. So this is going to be how big it is, pretty much. There's going to be some, like, supports on the outside. But yeah, this is about the size of it. So it's going to be pretty decent size. Um, it's a bit compact, which is nice, because I'm pr planning to put this on a on a smaller like, on top of my CDs. It doesn't sound that, like, interesting, but it's gonna fit on there, hopefully. I'm glad it's not super big, because then it wouldn't fit, and then it would look awkward. But that's it for the Flight Over London. I think it's a, just a, one of the coolest sets. In fact, all the Disney 100 sets that they've done are pretty much all awesome. Um, except for the Juniors ones. Those are kind of for babies, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, I'm excited for this. I love the film, and to get these characters is really cool. Um, and yeah, it's definitely gonna stand out among the sets that I have, because I have a lot of spaceships and stuff, so it's definitely gonna, gonna, you know, be a unique piece, I think. But that's about it for this one. Let me know what you think of the flight over London. Do you have it? Do you want it? Do you think it's overrated? Overpriced? Yeah, it should have been 40. 50 at the most. 50 is a good price. 60? Mm, no. No, but 50 of it. I don't know. It's the Disney tax, but whatever. Let me know what you think of Peter Pan. Do you like it? Do you not? What do you think of the set, good and bad? And um, what is your favorite Disney 100 set? I know many of you are probably going to say the Up House. That one's pretty awesome, I will say. Um, I think they should make more Pixar sets. That would be nice. I would love it if they made an Omnidroid set. That would be just... I would die if they did that. Like, imagine a UCS Omnidroid with all of the Incredibles, Frozone, Syndrome. Uh, that that would just be 
great, but I don't think they're ready to do big Pixar sets yet, but they're starting to. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you later.